sponsored by the Children's Safe Drinking Water Program. Housewives of Atlanta has really thrown black women in the reality TV spotlight. The network describes the show as an up close and personal look at five fabulous women from Atlanta's social elite. But does this voyeuristic view do more harm than good at dispelling negative stereotypes of African American women? Joining me now, Elena Andrews, contributor to The Root in Egypt, national TV and radio host of, and pop culture blogger of EgyptSaidSo.com. Ladies, thank you so much for your time. And Helena, you have written about this in The Root. And one thing that you specifically reference is one of the more infamous scenes from this season. We have a clip of it, then I want to talk about it. Let's play that clip first. Okay, um, <laughs> Elena, care to um, elaborate, and then uh, Egypt, I'll get you in on that. What Absolutely. what struck a chord with you about that? I think the problem that I had with it is that we're supposed these women are supposed to be representative of this quote unquote social elite in Atlanta. These are grown woman women, right? They're in their thirties and forties, married with children, and they had this fight that just devolved into the street brawl. You see there's more bleeps in that fight than actual words. And it seemed extremely immature for women who were supposed to be representing this elite class of black women. Okay, now to be fair, that is one clip of a season that is about a lot more than that. And it, it's a reality show. They pick the most dramatic stuff and they probably tell you to act up a little bit. Egypt, I know you're a fan of the show. You say that you watch it religiously. I What's your perspective? Watch it religiously. Okay, what is your perspective on that? You, you know, that's the that's the whole thing of reality shows and why people love them so much. They show the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't necessarily think Real Housewives of Atlanta is a negative portrayal of black women. I think it is a depiction of who these women are as individuals. Oh, and by the way, they happen to be black. But you know, at the same time, not all of them are. Kim, All right. she's, she's, a, she's a white woman. Lisa Wu Hartwell, she's half Asian. Uh, d but do you think there is anything harmful um, in the images that you see? Uh, in, in that particular scene, and because I do watch the, the show and I, I remember that scene particularly, <laughs> it was disturbing. Uh, you know, I felt Kim was being bullied. It was unfortunate. We caught these women at their worst. Okay. And again, that's what reality shows are all about. Okay, we did reach out to Bravo. Um, to try to get a statement from the producers, from all of the housewives. Uh, we weren't able to get anything in time, but we did, um, we do have some statements that we found on Essence.com um, uh, that the women have responded to in the past from Lisa and from Sheree in particular. This is what Lisa said. Lisa said, I can't really worry about what the masses are thinking of me because either you like me or you don't. There are a lot of hateful people out there and being on a show like this, you might have to become the sacrificial lamb. And Sheree said this. I think people really need to see that African American women have it going on. They're career driven, good moms, and we do um, live like this. Um, Helena, do you see any positive images in the show at all? I think there are some positive images on the show, but I think that's funny that Sheree, the woman who was, you know, screaming the most, the one who tried to quote unquote shift uh, Kim's wig, is the one talking about, you know, black women are fabulous and we're moms and. We're this and that, and that's great, and that's a great part of the show. It was a great part of last season. Um, I think that last season presented these women in a way where they were actually being housewives. I think this season it's all about, you know, this Jerry Springer ringmaster brawl that they're so interested in, as opposed to these women actually, you know, working at their jobs, raising their children. It's a lot more that we saw last season. So, uh, Supposedly, that's the reason Deshaun uh, Snow is no longer on the show because she wasn't dramatic enough. She wasn't, Funny you, you know, say presenting that. the high drama. Funny you should say that because we did have a comment um, on our Facebook page where someone said that they thought that that was the reason that um, that Deshaun wasn't back on the show because she wasn't dramatic enough. And again, we right. did reach out to Bravo to try to get their feedback on this segment, and we didn't get it. So we don't really know that that's the case. We don't want to put words in their mouths. But ladies, that's thank true. you. Ladies, thank you so much for your feedback on this. We appreciate it. Thank I'm Egypt, you. and um, a big fan.
and thank Elena you. Andrews, who has a little bit of issue with it, but she wrote about it. Ladies, thank you so much. For more of What Matters, check out the September issue of Essence Magazine or log on to CNN.com slash What Matters. All right, thanks, Michelle. Uh, coming up, there's some people that are upset uh, over the president's upcoming speech to students. The bottom line message is tell kids to study hard, stay in school. But there are some parents, they think there's more to it than that, possibly some hidden agenda. What do you think? We'll take your calls at 1 877 Tell HLM. What Matters is sponsored by McDonald's. I'm loving it. And by. Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Talked about that. Let, let's dig into some more of these uh, recordings. What we're hearing from Trace.